final pitch of the day. Patrick Möller of Core Power Ocean. More wave energy. And here's your clicker. And the handshake. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, moving on to the topic of high efficiency wave power. My name is uh, Patrick Möller, and I'm the CEO of Core Power Ocean. As Ake just told us here, wave power represents a huge untapped resource of clean energy. The real challenge here, though, is to design a, a device which is robust enough to survive the toughest storms, at the same time generate enough energy to pay back the investment of such robust systems. So far, wave energy converters have been too large and too costly compared to the energy output, which has prevented commercial harvesting. This is something we are changing. Core Power has developed a compact, high-efficiency wave energy converter inspired by the pumping principles of the human heart. We use a method called phase control to get these buoys to oscillate in resonance with the incoming waves. This allows a large amount of energy to be harvested with a small buoy. Our patented control technology strongly amplifies the response of these buoys in incoming waves and it makes a large response, and this linear motion is then translated into electricity using a new type of pneumechanical drivetrain that you can see here to the right, which is located all inside of the device protected from the oceans. Extensive testing in Portugal over the last year has proven this method to work very reliably. Uh, comparing this to the current state-of-the-art wave power, this technology allows us to use buoys having half the size and generate five times as much energy per ton of device on an annual basis. And then, importantly, when the storms roll in, we detune the devices, making them move out of sync with the incoming waves, which strongly reduces the loads and gives very good survivability without the need for huge dimensions. So these small buoys have a low capex per kilowatt, and the compact format allows an effective operations and maintenance using standard vessels. Altogether, it boils down to a cost of energy, which is expected to compete with offshore wind in the near term and more established energy sources as the volumes increase. Uh, our business model here is focused on selling the wave energy converter itself. While wave farm engineering, procurement, and construction is done in collaboration with established infrastructure partners, such as Iberdrola Engineering in this case. And together we have the capacity to supply turnkey projects to our targeted customers among utilities and island communities uh, around the world. And together with our partners here, we've been able to prove that we have a solution that addresses the key challenges of wave power in a very unique way. We have some defensible IP and groundbreaking performance that has been validated by some of the leading wave power groups out of Lisbon and Trondheim over the last two years. And because of this step change improvement in efficiency, the energy giant Iberdrola is now betting on our technology. Our pilot with uh, Iberdrola Engineering started in the beginning of this year, and we aim to demonstrate the same performance through half-scale ocean testing over the next year, followed by full-scale demonstration in UK waters by 2017. And by 2018, we should be ready to ship commercial units to multiple customers. Having the <coughs> experience here building VC-funded tech startups in the past, with Core Power, we have put a lot of emphasis on taking this through several of the early product development stage and get real customer traction before going to the first investors. Since 2012, we have had the opportunity to have 2.1 million euros uh, invested, and we've gone through the first two iterations of product verification and the first work with our first customer, Ibedrola. At the bottom, you see some of the scale one to three systems uh, being tested uh, together with them. We've also secured another 1.9 million euros in customer and project funding uh, in order to complete the pilot with Ibedrola. And with this, we now feel that we are ready to go out and start involving first investors in a seed round in the beginning of the next year. So we're aiming of a seed of around 1.5 million euros. And going forward, we expect to be able to work with a split between one third of equity funding and about two thirds of non-dilutive funding. So 
So with this, I would like to say that Core Power is something as unusual as a lean ocean energy startup. And uh, we have been really working hard to go through quick iterations in product development and be capital efficient. Our small devices with low capex help us do that and also our focused business model. So with an investment of 8 million euros equity complemented by 60 million euros non-dilutive funding, we expect to unlock a very attractive and profitable business of selling these wave energy converters. And by doing so, we hope to enable commercial scale harvesting of ocean energy and also contribute to a better and more sustainable energy mix for all of us. Thanks. Well done, well done. Thanks. I like lean ocean power startups. Do you have a question for Patrick? Okay. I think we are done for today. I want to thank you on behalf of all speakers, all startups pitching, everybody on stage and everybody in the audience for a wonderful day and all your attention and participation. And now you deserve a wonderful dinner party. Let's enjoy it together. <laughs>